Hi, everyone. Welcome to Morning Matcha. Today's guest is Kiana Reeves. She's the director of education at Foria, which is a wellness company that is female focused and they make cannabis products for health, wellness, and pain and pleasure. Hi. Hi. So How nice are to you? be here. I'm good. I feel like I just already know you. I'm so the excited. five minutes that we've chatted. So <laughs> I'm really excited to just learn more about you and Foria. Yeah, thanks. I've as I was saying to you earlier, I've seen Foria around for the past few years and I just I never thought about the concept of using cannabis for pain relief or for pleasure. And so they're really at the forefront of this movement. And then a little bit later, I kind of heard about suppositories and I was like, what is that? Where do you use that? Is that for women still? And, and then here we are now because I, I don't know, I just kept hearing about it and I was so interested and we received the products and I'm still just so interested in learning about the science behind it. And I love that I get to talk with you because your background is in sex education. And so I'm just interested in hearing about how you connected with Foria and what you were doing before that. Awesome. Um, we have so much to talk about. Yeah. Um, (laughs) okay. So my background before I was with Foria, I've been a birth doula for about 10 years and I have two kids. And, um, when I had kids, I really realized there was this big gap in understanding like postpartum and what happens in your identity as a mother and specifically as that relates to sexuality. Um, and so I studied to become a somatic sex educator, really inspired by Kimberly Johnson's work. I um, love her so much. She's so amazing. She's my mentor and my oh teacher. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Um, and so I do Wait in- one second. Yeah. Somatic. Yes. Is that with sound or is that just internal? Soma is the body. Okay. So it's working with the body, hands-on, um, educating through touch and through like a felt experience. Okay. Yeah. And so I studied with her and Ellen Heed and... Um, some really amazing somatic sex educators from Australia. And I I have a private practice on the side um, doing intravaginal pelvic work, working with like scar tissue and Mm -hmm. all sorts of, you know, vulva mapping and amazing things. I did that work with Kimberly and someone else before. She's amazing. Yeah. Huge resource. So I was super inspired by that. And um, all of that while I was, I co-founded a company with my sister about trying to find tools for like, traditional pelvic care. Um, and we found some, we were working a little bit with like the jade egg, which I think I have like a complex relationship with that at this Mm -hmm. point. Um, when I met Matthew and I got introduced to him, who's the founder of Mm -hmm. Foria and we just hit it off so well. And, um, he's someone that I have such deep, deep respect for the way that he, has vision for things, the way that he relates to the environment, the way that, um, he thinks about building a company. I just, I love him so much. And so, um, it really made sense for our working relationship to become, to me, to come on the team and really start using my background as a sex educator and really having some more in-depth knowledge about, um, the female pelvis and all of our products that just made perfect sense. So, it yeah. makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's so fun. It's so amazing. So what does your day-to-day look like within the company? Are you out speaking? And- yeah. So I do a lot of our press, a lot of our interviews, a lot of our education. Um, I train a lot of people on our staff. And then I do our social media. Mm-hmm. Um, we haven't outsourced that yet because it's something that's like very close to our hearts. Yeah. And lots of people use agencies and make it about sales. And for us, it's really a platform to connect with people that we love, our audience and our customers. And so we keep it really fun. We keep it like fresh as can be, you know, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, what do we want to talk about today? Like what's inspiring? What are people going to engage with? And, um, that's one of my favorite things that I still get to do. And then the, because we're still a small team, we're, we're growing really fast, but we, most of us have been there for a while. We all kind of ideate on, um, a lot of the projects together. So like our brand voice and our, our products that are coming out, all of us kind of have input on, on where we're going. Yeah. I was just talking to you about that with the product development and we were just talking about CBD specifically for using for pain relief. And Mm -hmm. 
And I just love how clean the products are. Oh, yeah. And I was just going through it the other day. And I've personally never actually had a suppository or used a a suppository. But um, I'm pretty sure someone in my family at one point was. And I was, like, going in the refrigerator one day. And I'm like, what is this? Yeah. And then I was reading it. And I realized it was a suppository. I didn't have any clue what that even was. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure theirs was encapsulated in some form of cellulose or gelatin or whatever. Right. And so when I opened the Foria suppository and saw that it was cacao butter based, I just thought that was so amazing. Yeah. And I just want to know who on the like who came up with because there's so many brands out there and that aren't clean. Yeah. So how did you guys formulate that? Who is formulating it? Well, we work on different products with different people. Um, our product Awaken, which is kind of the most complex formulation we have, we formulated with a master herbalist who was really well versed um, with the different herbs in the formula. And really the way we've done product R&D is based on customer feedback. Mm-hmm. So we're not trying to rapidly expand our line as quickly as possible and kind of get in the the rat race that is the CBD market right now, what we've done over the last five years has been to take cumulatively our customer feedback about how each product is working. And then based on that, um, branch off and go, okay, like here's another area we can really tap into. Mm -hmm. And it's also coming from the place of usefulness. It's like the products we have are we started out with pleasure. It's our original product and it was just THC in a liquid coconut oil. Mm -hmm. And it was an arousal oil specifically formulated for anyone with a vulva. And that really came from Matthew's background in the sex industry. He had a, um, a one for one condom company called Sir Richard's kind of like the model of Tom's shoes where you buy one. And then, um, he had a company in Haiti where people would get a really high quality condom. And he was coming out of that space and in a conversation with a friend about cannabis oil and he just heard the word oil and cannabis and it kind of had this moment of I bet that we could use this in different ways and in fact what he was tuning into was this thousands of years of documented history of the way that people have used this plant all around the globe and it's been used um, in obstetrics and gynecology and for childbirth and even mastitis and as an aphrodisiac and so Um, we really can't take credit for any kind of like the formulations in that sense because it has a long historical use, but we were the first people to bring it kind of into the modern era. And what we found with pleasure was that when people were using uh, it as an arousal oil, they were getting other benefits as well. Some people were reporting, I'm using this for hemorrhoids. Some people were like, this is amazing for my menstrual cramps. Mm -hmm. And we were just like menstrual cramps. Mm -hmm. I mean... No one's done anything about menstrual cramps. Yeah. Half the population uh, has, has experienced them. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like a really high percentage of people who have their menses experiences them. So we did R&D on our second product relief. And this was all in our, our THC line. And so we developed um, Pleasure. And then we had Relief, which as soon as we launched it, people were sending us the most incredible emails about endometriosis. and Yeah, I was going to say. Like any kind of chronic pelvic pain, interstitial cystitis, um, really like polycystic ovarian syndrome. And people were writing us saying like, I've gotten off my pharmaceuticals. I never thought I'd be able to do that. You've changed the way that I'm experiencing my period entirely. I'm not taking the over the counter, you know, NSAIDs, um, the anti-inflammatories. And we really saw like what a huge profound impact that was having for people. How were they using the product? So that was a suppository. The relief was was a suppository. suppository. Pleasure was an arousal oil. And the suppository, like you said, it's, it's not common in the U S people in Europe. It's a, it's a more kind of common application for Mm -hmm. medicine, not in the U S putting something in your, in your anus or intravaginally is really like, you want me to do what? Yeah. Um, so we have to do a lot of education about that, but it has such profound results because it's localized 
pain relief, essentially. Mm -hmm. It's localized anti-inflammatory. It soaks right into the tissues um, and it helps with inflammation, tension, pain relief. How long does that take to kick in? Is it instant? And it's about, well, some people are reporting about 30 minutes. It varies based on your body and how warm you are and how quickly it melts. Um, but about, I'd say about 30 minutes to an hour until you really start to feel like the relaxing effects. So people who have um, endometriosis, they're mm -hmm. experiencing immediate relief? After like within Pretty an soon hour after. Yeah. Based wow. on the feedback that we have. So just amazing. So we had that whole THC line and what we really saw is that, um, they were really high efficacy products, but across the board the the situation with THC and how to get it and where to get it mm -hmm. and what state it's legal in, it's so complex, um, that we decided to launch a, a CBD line that people could get all around the world because people just, you know, People addressing female yeah. pleasure, addressing female pain is it is something no one was talking about at the time. Is this something that people can buy across out of, yes. uh, all over the world? All of our CBD products are shipped to over 80 countries, maybe even over 100 countries at this point all around the world. And um, like you were saying, they are all 100 percent plant based. Mm -hmm. So not only do we not have any like synthetics, we don't even have any like pseudo synthetics. Yeah. It's literally just plant so with a plant and clean. a plant so it's clean. not isolates it's not um broken down into a specific thing it's yeah like it's this, not like coconut derived surfactant exactly. no and, it's uh, not yeah it's, it's our suppositories clean. basic suppositories the cbd ones just cocoa butter and cbd broad spectrum organically grown hemp sourced in the u.s so that is uh a foundational part of our company is we absolutely don't cut quarters on ingredients because a lot of our our products obviously are used internally, but they're also being used genitally. So mm -hmm. to put something on a mucosa, a mucous membrane yeah. that absorbs directly into the bloodstream, it's like you can't have pesticides. You can't mm -hmm. you can't do anything. Mm -hmm. And on top of just wanting to make a clean product for someone's body, we also really want to take into account the environment and the impact that the farming methods from who we're sourcing from and um, so with our liquid products, our liquid coconut oil, we source it directly from coconut, not our MCT oil is not palm. It's not palm. Yeah. It's coconut and it's organic for a reason, because we know that each ingredient we source has an environmental impact. So. And uh, there are a lot of companies that can't commit to that at all totally. because it's just, I mean, I don't want to call anyone out, but yeah. like bulletproof, I know. I mean, I know. And I love Dave Asprey. Yeah. I think he's a crazy yeah. genius, but yeah. why would but you? But the product I isn't know. reflective. Exactly. And it's probably because they're so big and they can't commit to that, but it's nice and refreshing to yeah. meet a company that that's their core yeah. value and that they're not going to budge. And, and you can just tell. Yeah. Well, you have to, I mean, you, 87% of consumers are getting their education directly from brands mm -hmm. and we're in the middle of a real climate crisis and anyone who's in any kind of industry selling anybody, anything has to be responsible. Mm -hmm. There's just, I like zero tolerance, I think for any company that can't fully commit to being totally responsible for the way they're sourcing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love it. So yeah. I want to just get some pick your brain for yeah. education purposes. Yeah. <laughs> so what are some ways that people are using? I mean, I just want to know everything. Like okay. you said endo, yes. but let's talk about suppositories. Okay. Let's talk suppositories. So someone wants to buy a suppository. Yes. Are they using it every single day? No. Well, if they have chronic, like a chronic pelvic pain condition, potentially, um, our basic suppositories have a hundred milligrams of CBD in each suppository, which is a lot. And it's, yeah, it's like, I don't have any clue even lot. with milligrams. Okay. It's a lot. And so it's a, it's a high dose for, and we did R and D, we did a trial run with like 50 and then we tried it with a hundred and the hundred worked a lot better than the 50 milligrams. Like did, across so. the board. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and that was the most important thing to us. So we created those suppositories they're available to anyone. You can use them anally and you can use them vaginally depending on where the pain is. Like sometimes people use them for low back pain, for sciatica, for 
I mean, there's a broad range of use, wow. um, but definitely menstrual cramps, um, endometriosis, interstitial cystitis, some people with vaginismus, um, and vulvodynia are getting really amazing results from them. Um, menopause, there's, there's really Why a menopause? super broad range because d- do people experience pain during menopause? Some pain, but also like there's a thinning of the vaginal tissue. Mm. There can just be yeah. like a dry an irritation yeah. that's happening. And so, um, it's, we're just getting really good feedback across the board. Anyone with tension in the pelvic floor chronically, they're useful for, mm-hmm. um, but we market them to menstrual cramps because mm-hmm. that's something that is a common language for people. Um, and they're really easy to use. You keep them in the refrigerator. You can keep them out. They say solid at room temperature, but it's kind of nice to have like a cool, you know, solid and you unpack them. I think they were somewhere. Anyways, yeah. you can open them up. They're easy to undo. And then, um, you they insert look like them. a little bullet. Yeah. They look like a little <laughs> bullet. Yeah. And we recommend laying on your back because they do need time to melt and then really absorb into the tissues locally. And so if you can do like 15 or 20 minutes, that, that would be the best. And, um, and then you're good to go in there. Yeah. And then there. Okay. So to give us an idea of the dosage, yeah. um, what's like a standard dosage for a pen for a CBD pen. Okay, and so I know you guys have one. We have one, which I love so much. Um, I want to, okay, I'll walk you through all of our products yeah. because one of the interesting things about CBD is like, it really matters how you take it and where you apply it Mm -hmm. to really understand where you're getting the benefits. So the suppositories, for example, it's a localized CBD in the pelvis, anti-inflammatory, but you're not going to get a true like systemic support of your endocannabinoid Mm -hmm. system. The flow pen, um, which is, I think the highest quality on the market has 450 milligrams of CBD, pure CBD in Oh. Yeah. Per cartridge. Wow. Um, it's a glass cartridge. It's a ceramic tip and a ceramic heating element. So there's none of the toxins that come from an aluminum heating element or all of the things that happen with vape pens, um, which people don't even, I mean, I didn't know. know that there was an aluminum heating element and I know that aluminum cause exactly. is a, causes Alzheimer's. Yeah, exactly. And also most CBD pens are cut with MCT oil, which can cause something called popcorn lung. Um, they're propylene Whoa. glycol, which is in the e-cigarettes, which is really bad for you because CBD crystallizes when it's pure. And so you need something to cut it. And it, it took us two years to really develop a formula that we didn't have to cut with anything. And we used actually plant terpenes to help, um, make sure that it didn't crystallize. So it took us wow. a long time. I need to get one of those. Pa- I'm going to, I wish you guys had a store. I Well, Oh, okay. Maybe some amazing. Got it. Um, (laughs) So the CBD pen is amazing because it's the quickest way to onboard cannabinoids into your system. And why that's important is anyone with anxiety, anyone in a moment moment of acute stress, um, anybody who has sexual anxiety or you're a mom, I'm a mom. If yeah. you're in a mom anxiety, yeah, like mom parenting anxiety, stress, yeah. it takes about three minutes to feel the effects. And so it can be one of those things on demand where you're not using it for maintenance, but you're using it to really like get that instant support. Mm-hmm. Um, and I love the pen so much for that reason. Even for sleep, it's amazing. So 450 milligrams per mm-hmm. cartridge, how many uh, times, how many uses is that? It depends on how long you pull for. We don't have a buzzer on it. And so it's like, it's really dose dependent on how long you breathe for. But I can break down. So we have a a oral tonic Mm -hmm. called our basics tonic. And we came out with this because we were all below the belt. We had suppositories and arousal oils and all of these wonderful things for the genitals. And as a holistic company, you, we had to really start arcing towards like a full view of wellness Mm -hmm. because sexuality is such an integral part of wellness. Mm -hmm. And if somebody's not um, feeling good in their body, they're most likely not going to reap the full benefits of their sexuality. And so um, with the endocannabinoid system being so integral to every function in our body, we really wanted the best, cleanest, most affordable formula that we could create that could support an array of a toolbox for our customers. So they could have the arousal oil, but they could also have the daily kind of vitamin supplement of the, the CBD. So, um, 
the basics tonic is um, about 17 milligrams of CBD per half dropper. Mm-hmm. And so about yeah. 20 is what we're seeing right now um, as like an average dose, but it's so dependent on your own unique endocannabinoid system. It's so dependent on um, where your stress levels are and how you're taking it and how it absorbs. So oh, so, ab- so the, how much you absorb depends on all what you're going through. Well, no, it depends on the product you're taking, okay. how you take it. Like if you just swallow it versus swish it and yeah. allow it to absorb through the mucosa, mm-hmm. um, it's you'll get much more into your body if you actually let it like swish in your mouth for one mm. to two minutes um, versus if you just put it in a coffee or a smoothie or something, which is like. CBD coffee, everyone. Yeah, which is the way long. most people take it. And yeah, because yeah, I heard that once it goes into your stomach, yeah, because really it's getting absorbed in your mouth. Yeah. Once it goes into your stomach, your liver processes it differently. Yeah. And then you're not getting as much. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So that's interesting. Yeah. And we've seen amazing feedback from that tonic as well, just for people, even with menopause and menstrual cramps mm-hmm. from taking it internally. So so wonderful the wide that there's a solution and it doesn't involve advil or yeah. motrin yeah. or all of the synthetics yeah. i just don't understand i mean you know keep that i'm not against anything yeah. but i kind of am <laughs> yeah well when you have other solutions that don't have negative side effects yeah, it's like why not why not and then my my favorite product that we have which i think is very groundbreaking um, is our Awaken. It's kind of our our flagship product yeah. at this point. And that's the arousal oil with kava, cacao, has cinnamon, cardamom, mint, ginger, and uh, vanilla. I used to drink kava tea all the yeah. time. And we used to go somewhere in Hawaii where this woman would mix the root like right in front oh, of you beautiful. and make it right there. And it was so beautiful yeah. and tingly. So I can yeah. only imagine yeah. what Awaken is like. Yeah. And it's, it's just the right amount. It doesn't create that because kava can be numbing mm-hmm. a little bit, but it's an analgesic. So mm-hmm. it is pain relieving. And the thing that, um, that has been out for almost three years now and Awaken so amazing because it addresses, I won't say addresses cause we can't make claims, but it helps support so many different experiences in the realm of pleasure. So Mm -hmm. it it really, it's purpose is to support and enhance pleasure. So the CBD and the kava and the cacao in particular have interaction with the endocannabinoid system. They also support blood flow, relaxation of the muscles. And the whole formula is about bringing the blood flow to the erectile tissue network. Um, And this is news to a lot of people, but for, for someone with a vulva, we have about the same amount mm-hmm. of erectile tissue as a person with a penis. I feel like I read that. Was that on your Instagram or did I read that somewhere yeah, else? I read likely. it somewhere. I loved reading that. Yeah. So we have the vestibular bulbs, the clitoris, the, um, there's a urethral sponge, which is commonly known as the G spot, the perennial sponge. They all have to fill with blood for there to be like really heightened sensation in the Mm -hmm. areas and so when you have a decrease in blood flow or there's not that like big kind of rush to the genitals it doesn't feel as good particularly penetration Mm -hmm. Um, and so this whole formula is about supporting the blood flow so that the body can increase its own lubrication increase its own access to sensation and thereby enhancing for a lot of people access to orgasm and like heightened pleasure And like the really, really incredible part of this formula is that there's this whole um, conversation around pain and penetration that Mm -hmm. is very common. Three out of four people with vulvas experience in their lifetime. And there's not really anyone like doing anything about about it. it. Mm -hmm. You can go see a pelvic floor PT. You can use a dilator. Um, Some of it's from scar tissue. Some of it's inflammation. Some of it's from, you know, sexual trauma. There's, there's such a host of reasons. Some of it's hormonal, but what is amazing about Awaken that we've seen is that again and again, it's effective and we've had customer support across the board on all of those experiences that Mm -hmm. it's helping to relieve pain without numbing at Mm -hmm. all. It's enhancing pleasure, but decreasing pain, which is unheard of. Absolutely amazing. And there's, we get emails constantly like, I just went through menopause and I haven't been able to have sex with my partner for four years, you know, and we tried this as a last ditch effort and it has 
changed our relationship and I'm forever grateful and I'm so happy new for parents. those people <laughs> I, oh my gosh it's amazing yeah. new parents who you know have pain after giving birth oh my birth. gosh I I mean so they say like six weeks wait yeah or whatever and my doctor I love my birth doctor so yeah. much but on my six week appointment he was like all right have you tried yet? And I was like, no, no. are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. And then he was like, just take a shot of tequila and go for it. And oh. I was like, yeah, that's not how I'm going to do it. No. But okay. <laughs> no. Oh, but it was, I mean, it'd be so nice annoying. if they offered this. And I love him and he's super holistic and yeah. great, but he, and he has a great sense of humor. So yeah. he was being funny, but, um, but yeah, it's just so, no, it's yeah. not the way to do it. Yeah. So I think, as far as CBD, it's so nice to have an option that doesn't have THC in it yeah. because people are still figuring that out. Mm -hmm. And the laws, it's nice to have it be more accessible. Totally. Um, but still with CBD, I mean, we literally got cut off Amazon payment. Like yeah. we were doing Amazon whatever, yeah. taking pay, Amazon pay yeah. on our site. And they were like, no, you're selling CBD. Yeah. We won't do that. Yeah. You're cut. And I was like, wait, I'm not even actually selling the CBD. Yeah. And then I went on Amazon and they sell CBD on their website, but their payment system. But anyways, I couldn't argue it. Yeah. They're not letting us sell they, it. The Shopify cut us off one time because yeah. we did an event with a company. Yeah. And it was, so I'm just curious how you guys are navigating that. Yeah. Well, we're, not advertising on Facebook. We're not advertising on Instagram. We're not advertising on Amazon. We can't, we got kicked off of Amazon. You too. did mm -hmm. even for like selling. selling on Amazon Yeah, for selling. Yeah. So awaken was on there for a because while. I swear right now, if you look up CBD on Amazon, it's like their own brand. Maybe it's they're like making their own their brand. Own. They're just yeah. trying to take yeah. over the world. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it also we're... is, sorry to interrupt. I think as much as it creates like this barrier to entry and blocking things and like making it so difficult to get yeah. to the masses, which is yeah. where you want to see this product because it should be yeah. in everyone's hands. It also makes your customer base. So probably loyal yeah. and like really valuable yeah. for your um, product development team. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We've, we have such an incredible customer kind of loyalty based on the efficacy of our products. Yeah. And I think we've had so much amazing PR over the years. Like mm -hmm. we were the first person doing any kind of CBD cannabinoids yeah. in the bedroom, hands down, yeah. like started that conversation. Um, and I think that what's happening and it's, a, it's all of the CBD industry right now. Nobody can advertise on Facebook, on Instagram. So we're all figuring out ways to communicate with an audience. And the primary way you have to do that is through education. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's actually requiring brands, hopefully if they're taking the initiative to be transparent about sourcing, to provide their certificates of analysis, to be a resource for their customers. And like, if they're not doing that, you shouldn't be buying from them. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, because there's no standards right now to qualify a CBD product as something that's trustworthy or not. Yeah. And so it's kind of like the wild west though. There, there will be regulations soon, yeah. but at the moment there's not. And so there's a lot of snake oil kind of claims happening. And for us just staying steady, making sure that our products work, not releasing anything that hasn't been, you know, thoroughly tested and vetted by our community and having so much integrity around it I think it just gives people a sense of relationship with us because mm -hmm. we ultimately we want to do good yeah we really do we're really just like how can we allow this incredible healing plant to do its most beneficial mm -hmm. in the best way for the planet talking about things that no one else is talking about but they matter female pleasure sex intimacy you know periods, menopause, people don't want to talk about that. Mm -mm. And it's really important to us to honor those times, particularly in the, in the lifespan of somebody who has a uterus. Yeah. And I love that you guys are talking about all that on your website. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we try and talk about that and share that on Facebook, but sometimes social media doesn't even like no. when you talk about that. Yeah. So I think it's really important for people to go directly on your site and yeah. read those. Th I mean, I went on cause I know that we were doing some stuff together yeah. and I was like, what? There's so much good oh, content on here. We have and the best blog. Yeah. I mean, if someone Do wants you write to write it, 
No, we have some incredible writer, writers, but... in-house writers and um, researchers, PhD researchers. And if someone wants to learn about CBD, like do a deep dive, go to our blog. Yeah. It's kind of like the best kept secret in the industry at the moment, I would say. Um, you can learn so much on there. So many interesting articles. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited to just use for you and yeah. learn more about it with you guys just yeah. as we um, work together some more and yeah. just go on and read and I'm going to use it today because I'm, I'm on my excited. period and I'm definitely experiencing cramps. I used to have debilitating cramps and uh. through diet and exercise and mm -hmm. all sorts of things, even having a child, it's actually helped. Yep. But, um, but I think I'm just the type of person that no matter what, on like the second day of my period, I always have Cramps. pain for whatever yeah. reason. Yeah. And it lasts for like four hours and yeah. then it goes away. But it's like if I, but that's the thing. It's like I have a certain time that I know that I can use that and it addresses yeah. it. But yeah, I love that Foria is working with you or you're, and you're working with Foria because I think it just says a lot about the brand to bring someone on with your experience especially directly working with women internally it's not easy to find yeah. people that do the type of work that you do totally and so just speak so highly of the brand and i just feel so honored to have thanks. been sitting here with you today thank you so thanks thank so you much. for joining yeah. us yeah thanks for having us i'm really happy to be here